battle against breast cancer. Her death last night came on the day she'd been due to go to Buckingham Palace to collect an OBE. Dusty Springfield shot to fame in 1964 with the song, I Only Want to Be With You. Our arts correspondent, Rosie Millard, has been looking back at her life. The look with the beehive hair and panda eye makeup was legendary, and the voice was equally remarkable. With it, Dusty Springfield became the queen of 60s pop and one of Britain's most successful female singers ever. She was a Londoner, born Mary O'Brien. She started out in a country group called the Springfields, but it was always clear her charisma and that extraordinary voice had marked her out for solo stardom. Distinct from other British female singers of the era, Dusty had a raw quality of soul in her voice and was drawn to the American sound of Motown. She was known as the White Queen of Soul. She loved black American music, she loved the blues, soul music, and to her, that, that was her ultimate goal. I think she found British pop a little bit parochial. In the 70s, she fulfilled her ambition by moving to America and joined the sophisticated entertainment circuit. I always had this love affair with the dream of America. I still do, really. It, uh, it's never what you think it's going to be. And it was very, very good to me and very, very bad to me. In the 80s, she was urged to return to Britain by a young promoter called Peter Stringfellow, who introduced her to the Pet Shop Boys. We were contacted by the Pet Shop Boys, who said they'd like to use Dusty on a new track. And I suggested to Dusty, go with them. These guys are big. And she did. And of course, her record with the Pet Shop Boys became a massive hit. And it was the Pet Shop Boys that really brought her back to prominence. And I'd heard the Pet Shop Boys because I nearly had an accident in the freeway when I heard West End Girls on the car radio. There was another, songs have that effect on me. I have to sit down and drive off freeways. She records very, very slowly. I think she's always done this as well. She likes to record something a word at a time, even sometimes a syllable at a time. And I just looked at the lyric sheet. <laughs> There's so many words in this song. And I thought, oh, God. <laughs> Her extraordinary comeback created a whole new league of fans and her death today will inspire memories across the generations. And this is BBC Radio 2 where we're paying tribute to Dusty Springfield. Tributes to Dusty have flooded in today from performers including her peers Lulu and Sandy Shaw. Just two months ago she was awarded an OBE. Too ill to collect the award from the Queen, Buckingham Palace made an exception and she was allowed to receive it at her hospital bed. But it's that cool husky voice which will live on as Dusty Springfield's enduring memorial. And there's a special tribute.